Uh, so Lou, we're gonna we're we're gonna wrap it all up, and we've covered everybody's questions. And I wanted to ask you if you on an, and you're not prepared for this, so I apologize. But do you have a story, someone that uh, worked with you, one of your students, who showed a tremendous amount of commitment and got success because of it? You know, some of my favorite stories, Scott, are people that. Uh, that really were making a very hard decision. In other words, it wasn't just, you know, a little bit of a commitment because they had plenty of money otherwise, but like they were down to their last dollars, so to speak, and they still made a decision. They made a commitment, but those folks have a very special place in my heart because they, they, didn't have any place to go. I mean, it's sort of like burning the bridges behind you is the, you're not going backwards. You're not going backwards because you can't afford to go backwards. There is no place called backwards. You literally have to go forward. You don't have any choices when you kind of enter that, the game with, with that in mind, you have a lot more success. So I definitely have stories, many stories like that. I've got, uh, I've got, like a mother, a foster mother with five children uh, that uh, joined me. And in fact, I've got a lot of foster mothers now that I think about it, because that, that just really clicked in my head that I've got not one foster mother with five children. I've got three foster mothers with five children that have joined my program. And, uh, and they were great examples of that, you know, that they really didn't have the funds to get on board, but they did anyway. And all three of them are still with me. All three of them have now multi-million dollar businesses. So I'm very proud of them. In fact, uh, I, I give my book from time to time, but you guys can go to doing good book, get, get doing good book.com. You can actually get a download of the doing good while doing well book. And you'll see a couple of those mothers actually in this book. So thanks for the question, Scott. <laughs> 